In many of my videos in the comments section, people have been asking me how to wire a condenser fan motor. And that's what this video is going to be about. I'm going to just quickly show you how to wire a condenser fan motor in a standard air conditioner. So for the most part, there's just two kinds of condenser fan motors. One is a four wire condenser fan motor and the other one is a three wire condenser fan motor. So if you look up on top here, here you got the motor and you got the sleeve. That's where the wires go into. Sometimes it'll be just literally a piece of PVC pipe that the wires go into and that's just to protect the wires so they're not just sitting there baking in the sun. That way they'll get brittle. So the wires go through here and if you look on this side, you can actually see what color the wires are. We got a black, a brown, and a white that come from the condenser fan motor. So this motor is a three wire motor. And if you look on the other side in the electrical section here, those wires will come out from one of the holes right here, for example. And if you're not sure which wires go to the condenser fan motor, just pull on them and just look up from on top again to see and make sure that you got the right wires. So I traced my wires coming from the motor and we got the yellow, we got the black right here, and then we got a brown that goes to the capacitor, the dual run capacitor. So the way these motors are wired is very simple. Basically the brown wire on a three wire motor is always gonna go to the fan section on the dual run capacitor. And the other two wires, the yellow and the black, they simply go one on each side of the contactor. So on this side of the contactor, you have the plunger. This is where the power gets interrupted. Whereas on this side of the contactor, it's just a straight bar. So there is no interruption. There's always 120 volts here. Right now I have the power off, but there's always gonna be 120 volts sitting here. So it doesn't matter if you connect the wire on this side or on this side. So the yellow wire goes on this side of the contactor and the black wire goes on this side of the contactor. And then the brown wire, it's always gonna be brown. Sometimes it'll be purple. will go to the fan section on the dual run capacitor. If you don't have a brown or a purple wire on your motor, then just look on the motor itself and it should have a little wiring diagram that will show you which wire goes to the capacitor. And one more thing I want to point out, usually they go in groups of colors, like the reds will be on one side and the blacks will be on the other. Or like in this case, the blacks are all on this side and the yellows are all on this side of the contactor. So try to keep it in groups just like it is. So if you're replacing the motor, put the yellow or the red wire where all the other red wires are and put the black wire where all the other black wires are. Now, if you have a four wire motor, that's usually not a problem if you're replacing a four wire with a four wire. But if you're replacing a three wire motor with four wires, then you got to wonder where does the fourth wire go? And the difference between a three wire and a four wire is pretty simple. You have two wires that go to the contactor on both motors. But if you have a four wire, that means that they have a brown and usually a brown with a white stripe wire coming out of it. And those two wires go to a capacitor. This is a dual capacitor. If you have a four wire condenser fan motor that's already in your unit, you're probably gonna have a standalone capacitor. So one capacitor for the compressor and one for the fan. And those two brown wires, the brown and the brown with white stripes, will go to the separate fan capacitor. So if you're replacing a three wire motor with a four wire, all you have to do is snip off the connector on the brown and white wire and just put a wire nut on it or a piece of tape because that wire is not going to be used at all. And then just proceed to wire it just like I showed you on the three wire motor. And the reason why that works is because your white wire or your yellow wire is actually connected to the same place that the brown and white wire is connected. So there really is no need for two wires. So just go ahead and snip the connector off the brown and white one and put a wire nut on it and wire it just like you would a three wire motor and you should be good to go. And if you're still here, one more piece of information for you. So if your new motor comes with a little plug on it or two wires sticking out of it that are really short, usually they're gonna be like a purple and a yellow wire or a black and a white that either go into a plug or there's connectors. Those wires are connected that you can just disconnect. Those wires are actually there so that you can reverse the direction of the fan blade if you need to. So if you have like a purple and a purple together, yellow and a yellow together, if you unplug them and hook up the purple to the yellow and the other one yellow to the purple, that will actually reverse the direction of the fan blade. And why this is important is because the fan blade is supposed to be scooping air up. So maybe your existing motor was spinning clockwise, but the new motor default is counterclockwise. In that case, you wanna switch those wires up so that the air is being scooped up and not being pushed back into the unit and you're gonna start having problems from there. Anyways, have fun with your repairs.